Okay, so uh, our next speaker is Joseph, uh, who will be presenting on the case of quantum gravity with spontaneous collapse. Collapse. Thank you very much. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I must uh, thank the rest of the organizing committee because I'm part of it formally. I thank uh, uh, Chief Organizer Hans Thomas, above all, for his enthusiasm and for his skills to overcome every difficulties of the day, the past, or for the future, for everyone. And, uh, and I thank every and each uh, participant. Well, I like to discuss uh, equations of, of uh, irreversible modifications of quantum mechanics, uh, whatever they are, in foundations uh, 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 for the collapse, the spontaneous and dynamical collapse of the wave function, in open quantum systems, in hybrid dynamics, which are dynamic couplings between uh, classical, statistical, and uh, quantum systems. But this time, I must decide to uh, have a more essayistic talk, which I don't really like. Lack of uh, uh, skills to, to speak colorfully, like philosophers or native uh, Englishmen or women. But <clears throat> this time I want to, to, to send uh, a convey a message about uh, the, the strange relationship between two apparently distant uh, topics in theoretical physics and apparently distant communities that are dealing with those two topics. Yeah, this one. Allow me to start with a self quotation, an abstract from uh, uh, 2014. Uh, from my own Erice talk. The inception of a universal gravity related irreversibility took place originally in quantum cosmology. But it turned out soon that a universal non-unitary dynamics, that is an irreversible dynamics, is problematic itself. <clears throat> On the other hand, independent investigations of the quantum measurement postulate clarified that a non-unitary dynamics is of interest already in the non-relativistic context, contrary to quantum cosmological context. An intricate relationship between Newton gravity and quantized bulk matter might result in universal non-relativistic violation of unitarity, also called spontaneous decoherence or spontaneous wave function collapse. The corresponding gravity-related spontaneous decoherence model is now on the verge of detectability in optomechanical mechanical experiments. That was uh, uh, seven years. Before now we have uh, uh, many more uh, uh, techniques to test the model. It is also, I mean, this uh, gravity-related spontaneous decoherence model. It is also a toy model of cosmic quantum gravitational non-unitarity, illuminating that the bottleneck of quantum gravity is perhaps the quantum measurement postulate instead of quantum cosmology. That was my abstract uh, seven years ago. This one. Okay, thank you. And now uh, the abstract of uh, uh, this, this talk. When about half a century ago, the concept of universal spontaneous collapse of the wave function was conceived, it was an attempt to alter standard non relativistic quantum mechanics. As such, it was largely ignored by relativistic field theory 
and quantum gravity communities. A central motivation of spontaneous collapse community has been to replace the standard collapse by measurement that annoyed many, including myself and many of my colleagues in uh, uh, the community. For a long time, it did not annoy the field theory and quantum gravity community concept of quantum field theory with certain universal irreversibilities had been initiated very long ago by Wheeler, Hawking and a few others independently from the concept of spontaneous collapse. Over the decades, the two concepts have come close and support each other. And uh, this story is uh, my topic today. No? Which one? This one. All right. About two communities who are apparently interested in the presence of a fundamental irreversibility. You know that uh, uh, standard <coughs> quantum physics is uh, reversible. If it is quantum, it is uh, unitary which is a very specific and, and uh, remarkable form of reversibility. <coughs> now, <coughs> the quantum cosmologist community consists of field, string and membrane theorists uh, struggling for a full relativistic quantum gravity theory of the whole universe, while within standard unitary, that is reversible quantum mechanics. The other community, the Schrödinger cat killers. You see, down I have a less spectacular title for them, measurement problem solvers. But I will uh, call them cat killers uh, during my talk. So they uh, are interested, they, they are quantum foundation experts. And they are interested uh, in non-relativistic models of spot dynamical models of spontaneous wave function collapse for microscopic bodies, microscopic ob objects including uh, some, some nano masses, not really uh, including uh, cosmological masses, certainly not the whole of the universe. And uh, the, the cat killers are modifying the non-unitary non standard quantum mechanics. They used to add uh, unitary violating terms to the Schrodinger uh, equation. Now, uh, what about their approach of uh, fundamental irreversibility? For quantum cosmology, this might be a possible option that something fundamentally irreversible is present on the background of standard unitary quantum theory. And one major motivation for them is the so-called black hole information loss paradox, which is a paradox. It might be uh, resolved if uh, there were some uh, funda fundamental irreversibility in nature. On the other hand, for the cat, skiller, uh, cat killers, uh, it is mandatory to assume some fundamental irreversibility because, as you know, wave function collapse is irreversible in itself. Now let me detail uh, the, the events of, uh, uh, the, of the past history in cosmology where the where cosmology faced the option of uh, irreversibility. <coughs> they used to have heuristic arguments in favor of irreversibility still within standard quantum physics. Wheeler uh, assumed or 
was led to the assumption that the space-time has uh, uncertainties, some ambiguities at the Planck scale, and he, called, he introduced the notion of uh, a foamy structure of the space-time at the Planck scale. It, he offered no dynamical equation for, uh, to characterize this uh, foamy space-time. Now, <clears throat> next, uh, more than 10 years, or almost uh, 20 years uh, after, Bekenstein proved that black holes behave thermodynamically. They have entropy, which is again a sign of uh, some fundamental irreversibility on the background of standard, of standard reversible unitary uh, 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 on the background of standard uh, reversible uh, theoretical physics. That's uh, the famous expression of the black hole entropy as uh, was derived by Bekenstein. And uh, a year later, Hawking proposed that black holes are radiating thermal against something uh, in the spirit of uh, fundamental irreversibility. Ten years later, Hawking proposed the first dynamical equation, irreversible equation, in, uh, uh, for cosmology. And this is his uh, equation, where the initial state scatters in a non uh, by a non-unitary scattering operator. By uh, this is uh, Hawking's notation. The dollar mm. is a so-called super scattering operator, uh, which is now known in quantum inf information context as a channel, a quantum channel. If anyone is, in, is uh, familiar with uh, the modern notions in quantum informatics. <clears throat> Again, a year later, Banks, Suspend and Peskin proposed a detailed dynamical equation instead of Hawking's very, very formal and complicated superscattering uh, dynamics. And uh, this equation is look, the, the time derivative of a quantum state uh, is proportional to the Hamiltonian uh, uh, term, and this is a non-Hamiltonian term. It corresponds to what we call a Lindblad term, which is a typical non-unitary term, typical irreversible term. And remember the double commutator here, where according to Banks, Saskin, uh, Saskin and, and Baskin, Q of X is uh, some relativistic quantum field, and H is a positive kernel. Uh, famously, they proposed this equation without uh, being aware of the so-called Lindblad structure, which is now a very popular uh, uh, structure whenever we are discussing the uh, irreversible uh, uh, evolution equations, so-called master equations for the quantum state, for the density matrix of uh, any system in foundations or in open quantum uh, system context. Now, this is uh, uh, the story of a selection of items from the story of irreversibilities in quantum cosmology. What about the other community? the community of cat skewers. Uh, they or we used to have heuristic modifications of standard quantum physics and the purpose is 
to eliminate massive Schrödinger cat states to order them to decay spontaneously where this superposition uh, means a superposition of two different mass distributions one configuration F1 the other one is F2 they are massive so they are not about the electronic mass they are about uh, much much heavier masses so this we call a Schrödinger cat and we killers want to eliminate such states <coughs> now how is that a uh, uh, project related to gravity first uh, my uh, compatriot uh, uh, colleague Kari Hazi proposed that the fluctuations of space-time at the Planckian scale might destroy the phase between this and that and he also proposed some uh, gravity-related uh, heuristic equations not very, uh, very exact ones <coughs> Uh, in the meantime, uh, Gerard Rivin and Weber uh, constructed exact, uh, uh, an exact model to eliminate the gas, but this famous model was not related to gravity. Myself proposed an exact equation, an exact model. It may be, uh, it may be unrelated to nature, but at least mathematically it's, it's uh, unique. And this equation is able to kill Schrodinger cats. Where F with the hat is the mass distribution, spatial mass distribution operator. For cosmologists, it is easy to, to understand what F with the hat is. It is the T not not t zero zero component of the uh, relativistic uh, uh, stress energy tensor so here you see the double commutator and the same structure that was proposed earlier and totally independently uh, i mean in an independent cosmological context by banks saskind and Thanks. <coughs> but this is a non-relativistic equation of the same structure than theirs. And also Penrose in uh, 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 96 proposed <coughs> an expression for the decay time of the Schrödinger cat. And it is his decay time and the reason that we talk about the DP uh, gravity related uh, spontaneous collapse is that his decay time follows from my dynamical equation. So that's uh, uh, to characterize uh, the activity, uh, the, the irreversibility related activity in both communities in quantum cosmologists and in cat killers communities. Now this is a concise table of the parallel histories. We must remember uh, Matvey Bronstein killed by, uh, by this uh, Stalin regime very young, young age, maybe a year after his claim that there was a special uh, ambiguity of the space-time, which was different from uh, uh, that dictated by uh, the Heisenberg uncertainty relationship. It was some, 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 uh, something beyond quantum uncertainties. So he was the first uh, colleague to point out that the space-time must have some additional ambiguity, uh, uncertainty beyond uh, standard 
quantum mechanical uncertainties. Uh, this I mentioned uh, from uh, 1950, Wheeler's uh, the concept of flowy space time. This is 66. Carly has his proposal that uh, uh, the ambiguity of the space time might deface shooting their cats that's all in black hole uh, radiation that's Philip Perl's first trials well, first trials at uh, at uh, uh, formal mathematics to describe the dynamical collapse of uh, the wave function it was unrelated to gravity this is why I put uh, the brackets. The same year when Ben Sus Suspend and Peskin proposed their uh, analysis of, of uh, the first master equation for the dynamical irreversibility in uh, quantum cosmology, Gizan constructed the standard form of and the mathematical form of uh, collapse equations still valid until now. Uh, this is my proposal from uh, the 86. This is GRW unrelated to gravity. This is uh, GRW, the Rimini Weber and Pearls, uh, uh, space, continuous spontaneous localization theory also uh, a collapse theory, also unrelated to gravity. That's Penrose's proposal, and that's, I put here, uh, 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 because it is also a cosmological uh, uh, proposal. It's by Hogan, who proposed some holographic noise, which I wanted to, to study and understand and learn, but, uh, uh, I have missed it so far. Now, <coughs> cosmologists may profit from results of shooting at cat killers. And some already do. Baylock. Baylock is objecting. He doesn't want to be included. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's too much. Objecting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Daniel what, Sudelsky. What's the term? 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 Yes, uh, it is part of my, my uh, sequence of slides that David Pullen, who died at uh, young age and at height of his uh, activity a few years ago, uh, he proposed some considerations also in the context of, uh, of cosmology. And he says that the models of information loss, that is from the fundamental irreversibility, that do not violently break well-established principles, are well-formulated mathematically and agree with experiments, have not yet been ruled out. And this is uh, also the philosophy of uh, uh, Schrodinger cat killers. That if we add some very, very tiny uh, uh, stochasticity, irreversibility to Schrodinger equation, uh, this remains uh, uh, this remains insignificant for at uh, atomic scales. So the presence of uh, such uh, irreversibilities that are able to kill the massive Schrodinger cat, this presence is innocent regarding the, the uh, 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 atomic scales. So uh, this is the similarity between the approach of killers and cosmologists. And also, uh, Pula proposed this equation, which would be the first ever relativistic 
Markovian master equation with irreversibility, which is of the, the, the famous Lindlas structure. And what an old cat killer would think about this, I thought that uh, a Markovian relativistic Lindbergh equation was impossible. That was my experience from my activity in the, in the camp of Schrödinger and Tillers. And really, uh, a few days ago, BRD uh, uh, accepted my paper, my letter, saying, a closer look uncovers a smartly hidden defect in uh, the proposed uh, relativistic Markovian master equation, which leaves us without Lorentz invariant Markovian master equations. They, in view of the present author, which I am, should not exist. And I may have. Funny, I lost my last side. No, no, uh, everyone. I'm not worried. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for macroscopic physics, we will have uh, then an effective density matrix that follows an irreversible equation. But still, if you consider the full system, there is no fundamental irreversibility. So, what is the advantage of looking at irreversibility as arising effectively by concentrating on subsystems? The advantage is that in principle you can compute the uh, operators that uh, modify your uh, unitary equation of the subsystem. And I think it would be good to cast the discussion in this form. It's difficult, of course, to find, let's say, in the full quantum field theory of gravity, what would be uh, the non uh, the, of the operators effectively carrying non irreversibility. But I think in simpler systems where you just look at the photons, for example, photon fluctuations, it should be possible. And I think this approach would put things in a more systematic way, huh? because you would not have to postulate some new fundamental physics, but you would be able to, in principle, approach this question by standard theoretical many-body uh, quantum field theory uh, approaches. I, I agree with the statement that uh, uh, irreversibilities can be systematically derived uh, by so-called reduced dynamics. But the, the main concept of Schrodinger calculus is that we, we uh, rely upon the assumption that there is something new in physics. You don't need which can be my uh, statement is you don't uh, need uh, this uh, this is a matter of a matter of, of taste whether you derive uh, uh, the that of the Schrodinger cap no. Uh, from the, uh, the influence of the environment, or, or, uh, which is really the case, or you assume that there must be, there can be, uh, some original new uh, effect, a virtual uh, environment, so to say, uh, which is unseen, which uh, leads to the the same mathematical structure of uh, mathematical equations. Yeah, so but there is no evidence for it. it is, let's face it, and also the black hole things, there is no evidence for that. You can very well understand it in terms of just uh, effective irreversibility. Yeah. Right. So, of course, physicists always can go beyond yeah. and say yeah. it could be. But let's, let's at least say let clearly me. there hasn't to be. Yeah. Let me refer to uh, Raja Pandras, who proposed the decay, the spontaneity of the uh, out of the blue, not, not relying on, on uh, uh, any open system. Uh, so. Maybe you okay. can continue the answer to the last question. Yes, I'm sorry, Paris, uh, thank you for a wonderful talk from one of the great figures in the field, but uh, as a great figure in the field, I'm sorry you have that status. What was your motivation for going to gravitational uh, fluctuations? I mean, Roger, Roger Penrose's motivation was very clear. You have a superposition of geometries, you don't have a well-defined getting vector field. The Schrodinger equation somehow breaks down. What was your motivation? Yeah, uh, my motivation and my first uh, uh, publication uh, was about the a discussion uh, how precise the measurement of uh, the background uh, space-time, the background uh, gravity, can be uh, as restricted by, by quantum mechanics. So you, you probe, you, you, you have a probe to test the local uh, acceleration field, but the probe is subject to uh, the Schrodinger dynamics. And this gives you a restriction as to precise, the ultimate precision to uh, measure uh, the, the background space time. And it turns out that there is an additional uh, ambiguity, which is uh, 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 done, which, is, which uh, corresponds to the ultimate limited precision of your measuring device. And uh, then 
if we accept uh, that the space-time or local abstraction field must have just that ambiguity, and there's one more step that you return this ambiguity stochastically, and do we get the defacing of the Schrodinger cast if it is massive enough? So that, that was the massive.